Because of that crash, APD and Game and Fish are now cracking down on off-road vehicles being used on Albuquerque City streets. It's illegal. News 13's Jamie Seymour is live near that crash site with more on the new enforcement plans. The crash that killed Pernoy Bhattacharya here at Central and Tingley wasn't the first off-road vehicle to land on APD's radar, as they've noticed an uptick of illegal riding on city streets. Unser, Bridge, Paseo, and Montgomery. We've seen 40, 50, up to 70 vehicles at a time driving down I-40, coming into the downtown area, driving on sidewalks. APD says many of these riders violating the city's off-road vehicle laws have fled when officers attempted to pull them over. Most of them uncaptured because they can quickly divert to places like wooded areas and ditch banks where patrol cars can't follow. According to Game and Fish, while some municipalities across the state do allow use of OHVs in town, neither Albuquerque or Bernalillo County have ordinances in place to allow these vehicles on paved roads. ABD says they'll now treat these as zero tolerance and anyone caught will be cited with their vehicle towed. This is not a short term effort, a couple of weeks and then we're going to be done. This will be an open ended effort to help us address this issue. Uh, I can only assume that it would continue into the warmer weather if we did not address it. So our commitment is ongoing. In addition to APD's open spaces department and air support units, they're also partnering with Game and Fish to locate those in these vehicles. New signs will also be posted in open space areas along with city streets where they've seen the biggest uptick in OHVs hitting the pavement. So far this year, at least 82 people have died in some sort of traffic incident within APD's jurisdiction. Only one of those involved an off highway vehicle. Back to you. OK, thanks, Jamie. Now, police say those caught with one of these vehicles on paved city streets can face a fine of up to $200.